Our citizens passed a bond uh, back in May of uh, 2018 and uh, we were pretty excited about the project, especially here at Blue Hole Elementary. About a month, uh, it could have been a month and a half later, uh, we were approached by uh, Nick Dornick about, um, you know, considering uh, designing the school uh, as a one water system school. One water is all about valuing water in all of its forms. So our goal here with the school is to conserve as much water as we possibly can. The uh, idea is that we can actually reduce water consumption at the new Blue Hole Primary School by 90% over standard construction. And we do that by capturing rainwater, reusing it on site uh, to irrigate the landscape, to flush toilets. Uh, the water is going to be treated so it's safe when it goes through the toilets. Um, once that water is produced and flushed down the drain, it goes into a, a system here on, at the school, much like a septic system that people might have at their homes, except this system is built to uh, treat and reuse quite a bit more water, somewhere around between four to 5,000 gallons per day that this school would produce. And that water will be used uh, to irrigate a new athletic field here at the school. The entire building was dual plumbed, which means we have plumbing coming from a municipal water source distributed by Aqua Texas, and then the water that we produce here with the rainwater. So every toilet will have two sets of pipes going to it. Um, the rainwater will actually be dyed. So you will see when you see, when you see water in the toilet, if it's dyed, you'll know that that's the rainwater that we collected on site. From day one, whenever we uh, uh, opened the campus, uh, we were very pleased uh, with the way that the one water system was working, especially very concerned about flushing toilets uh, with rainwater and condensation water. Uh, that all worked very well. Um, so the system as a whole has worked very well. One of the first things that anybody will see when they pull up to the school are these enormous storage tanks here behind us. Uh, one of those tanks, the larger one here, I believe, is the tank that we're using to uh, store all of the rainwater that's captured on site. That tank will hold over 200,000 gallons of water, and it will produce all the water that the school needs for toilet flushing throughout the year. We will have windows into the walls of the school here showing those pipes with educational signage, and in the library, it is looking fantastic. We're going to have a uh, large clear cylinder where folks can see as the rain falls on the roof you can actually see that water collected through the clear pipe and going into the system. The kids were pretty excited whenever they got to see the actual rainwater run through the library pipe. We have an exposed pipe there as an educational tool as to uh, how this water is collected. This is a, a, a innovation and it's a tribute to the leadership of the Wembley ISD board uh, and it's going to benefit many, many people in the region. Water is such a precious resource. Um, uh, water pretty well describes what Wimberley is all about with all the rivers and creeks and everything else. And so it was very important that we sit down and have that conversation. Uh, I have to admit I was skeptical at the beginning. Uh, but the more we met and the more the engineers got together and um, the plan started coming together, uh, it became very obvious that, uh, hey, this was doable, and, and it was a responsible thing for um, Wembley ISD to do. I know that the board uh, considered that uh, whenever they were approving this project. All water has value, and this school demonstrates through its infrastructure and through its, its design how to manage water efficiently, and to do it in a way that uh, ensures that we're going to protect our springs, our creeks, and our rivers. We don't just stop with water conservation. We're also trying to reduce the amount of pollutants that run off into these streams and rivers. And we do that with something called green stormwater infrastructure. And you will see green stormwater infrastructure throughout the school. We have permeable pavers. We'll have vegetated swales. All of these things are designed to slow down water as it runs across the site and infiltrate it into the ground, thereby recharging the aquifer and also reducing the amount of pollutants that are running off 
downstream right into Blue Hole. We hope that this, this school can be a model for our region, be a model for, for development. Uh, that's, it, we're here in the fourth fastest growing county in, in the United States. So uh, we're gonna have to figure out how to conserve and manage water in a more responsible way. And the One Water School is, is a huge step in that direction. The entire system is built to work together in harmony with nature, with development, and we feel that this school is going to be a great example of how we can educate our kids, how we can educate the community, and uh, really be a shining star for the Texas Hill Country for years to come.